Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain you two very interesting examples based on transistor biasing. I have already covered theory based on transistor biasing. So you can easily solve these questions. So before I solve these questions, what I want is you just try those questions by your own first. See, this is first question and this is second question. I hope you are trying these questions by your own. Now I'm starting with solution of first example. So if you observe first question, see that question is based on collector feedback configuration of BJT. So this is collector feedback configuration. We need to find operating point. So operating point means what? Operating point, operating point means Q point. And in operating point, we need to find current IC and voltage VCE. So IC that is output current and VCE that is output voltage. That is what? Operating point. So this is what we need to find over here. Now as if you want to calculate operating point, one can simply calculate that by applying KVL. So here what I'll do is, I'll apply KVL at input side first. So you see here at input, I'll be going to apply KVL. So here in this loop, see voltage is VCC. So let me write VCC first and another voltage in this loop that is VBE which is happening from plus to minus. That's why I need to write minus VBE that is equals to C in this loop. First resistance is RC. So resistance is RC through RC current is I. So through RC current is I and in this loop another resistance is RB. So let me write RB through RB current is IB. So let me write IB. Now see we wanted to have IB current from this equation. So here I that I need to convert in terms of IB. If you observe here see at this node at this node entering current is I and leaving current is IB and IC right. So I is equals to IB plus IC. Let us substitute that over here. So we will be having See, we wanted to have this equation in terms of IB. So here IC that is equals to beta IB that one can say. So we can have IB and we have all the values, right? See IB that is VCC minus VB. VCC is 20 minus VB for silicon. VB will be 0 0.7 voltage, right? Divide by this term where RC, RC is 1 kilo ohm. So I am writing 1 into 1 plus beta. So beta is 100 over here. So into 101 plus RB. So here RB is 100. See denominator that is there in terms of kilo ohm. So here 20 minus 0.7, 20 minus 0.7 that is 19.3 divided by this will be 201. And this is there in terms of milliampere. So if you solve this in calculator, your answer will be 0 0.096 milliampere, right? So that is how one can have IB current. Now from IB current, for operating point, we need to have IC current. So from IB, we can have IC easily. How you see? IC, that is beta IB beta is 100 so 100 into this right so that will be 9.6 milliampere right so output current now that we have calculated now we wanted to have vce output voltage to get vce output voltage you will have to apply kvl in output so here at output see voltage is vcc so VCC and another voltage is VCE and that VCE that is happening from plus to minus. So I need to write minus VCE that is equals to see through this RC current is I. So I am writing I into RC. So here we will be having VCE that is equals to VCC minus I into RC. See I is how much IB plus IC right. 
IB plus IC into RC. See, we have all the values, right? VCC is how much? 20 minus IB that we have calculated. IB is 0 0.096. IC is 9.6. This is there in terms of milli and RC that is there in terms of 1K. So, I'm writing 1 only. So, 20 minus this that is voltage, right? So, if you solve this VC voltage that will be 10.304 voltage, right? So, that is how we have operating point IC and VCE, right? So, one should follow the basic process, right? Now, let us move on to second example. So, here in second problem, we have voltage divider configuration and we need to find operating point. So, operating point means what? Q point and in Q point, we need to find output current IC and output voltage VCE, right? Now, as and when you have circuit based on voltage divider bias, then you will have to simplify the circuit first. So, here what I will do is this R1, R2 resistance, R1 is of 10 kilo ohm and R2 is of 5 kilo ohm that I need to simplify in terms of Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Let me explain you how to do that. See here, I am drawing that circuit first. See here we have VCC, then we have one resistance of 10 kilo ohm and here we are considering one point and here we have second resistance that is of 5 kilo ohm and this is my second terminal ground. So, here we are interested about Thevenin's equivalent value that is VTH and RTH, right. So, here what I will do is I will be converting this circuit, I will be converting this circuit in form of in form of RTH and VTH, right. That is what the conversion that we wanted to have. So, what is RTH and what is VTH? If you want to calculate RTH, then for RTH, you will have to ground all the DC voltage supplies. So, here VCC that we need to ground over here. So, RTH that is resistance across these two terminal. So, here RTH will be 10 parallel 5, right? 10 parallel 5 means 10 into 5 divided by 10 plus 5. 50 by 15. So, that is 3.33 uh, kilo ohm. See, these values are there in terms of kilo ohm. And if you wanted to have VTH, then VTH is voltage over here. Right. So, that is simply as per voltage divider rule. Here VCC into this resistance that is 5 divided by total resistance that is 10 plus 5. So, here VCC is how much? 15. Right. VCC is 15 volt. So, 15 divided by 15 into 5. So, VTH will be 5 volt. So, one can say here RTH is how much? RTH is RTH is 3.33 kilo ohm and this VTH that is 5 volt and that is what now I will be replacing with this R1 and R2 and I will connect it over here, right. So, let me redraw the circuit. See, this is the basic circuit that we have after replacing this much portion of circuit with RTH and VTH, right. Remaining circuit is same, you can observe here. See, RTH that is 3.33 kilo ohm that we have calculated and VTH is 5 voltage that is connected over here, right. So, this is how equivalent circuit that we have. Now, in this, we need to find operating point. So, operating point means IC and VCE, IC and VCE, right. So, to have it, let us apply, let us apply KVL in input side. So, if you apply KVL at input, see here in this we have voltage 5, 
that is happening from minus to plus so, so i need to write plus 5 and in this loop we have vb that is happening from plus to minus so plus to minus means it is negative so minus vb is 0 0.7 that is equals to see in this loop through this resistance current is ib so i'm writing 3.33 and current will be there in terms of milli that i'm going to consider that's why i'm not writing kilo over here so 3.33 into ib plus see in this loop 2 kilo ohm resistance is there so 2 into current is ie now we need to have current in terms of ib over here this is ie so one should know what is ie see ie that is ic plus ib and ic is how much ic is beta ib right so here ie is how much ie is beta ib plus ib beta is 100 so ie is 101 times of ib that you can say right so just substitute this over here so you will be having value of ib so this is 4.3 that is equals to 3.33 IB plus 2 into 101 IB. So IB is how much? IB is 4.3 divided by 3.33 plus 101 into 2 that is 202. If you solve this in calculator, you will be getting IB. Let me check what is my answer. My answer is 0 0.02 zero nine four milliampere so now we have base current right so from base current we can easily have collector current what is that see collector current i see that is beta i b beta is 100 over here into this right so if you multiply this two points are getting shifted as per multiplied by 100 so we'll be having two point 094 milliampere collector current so in operating point i see that we have calculated now we need to find vce right so to get vce let us apply kvl at output side over here right so here if you apply kvl voltage is vcc that is of 15 volt and here we have VC that is happening from plus to minus. So I need to write minus VCE that is equals to see through this one kilo ohm resistance current is IC. So I'm writing one only. The reason is IC that I'll be substituting in terms of milli. So milli into kilo that is getting cancelled. So one into IC, IC is 2.094 plus See in this loop, 2 kilo ohm resistance is there. So 2 into current is IE. IE is how much? IE is 101 into IB. So 101 into IB. IB is 0 0.02094. Right. So if you solve all those things, you will be getting VCE. That is 15 minus this. So if you do this, let me check what is my answer. That is 8.718 voltage so that is how one can have output voltage and output current operating point so as and when you calculate operating point for voltage divider wires at the time first of all you will have to see how equivalent circuit is there in terms of thevenin's equivalent model for r1 and r2 and then you should solve the question i hope you have understood all those things still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video